Hey, this is MassX with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video, and this is my final thoughts on the new event Nell. First off, let's talk about the stats. <coughs> Since last time, um, I did not have five star or six star stats for you. At five stars, she's clocking in at two, three, eight, eight, one, five. And as you can see, nothing else has changed with her. I went ahead and I've kept her at 64 across the board. At six stars, she's clocking at 251, 840, but I did increase um, her equipment, as you can see, the level 70, because I started doing some testing at six star. But what I'm going to discuss today is testing her between my initial tests at four star and my tests over the last few days at five star. I'm going to go ahead and background just have one of my battles while I discuss. Okay, so let's talk about Nell, okay? Is she as good as Christmas or Ahima? No, she is not, okay? Let's just leave it as it is. She is not, okay? Christmas or Ahima is the top tier healer in the game and the story, okay? Where does she rank? Well, she's damn good, okay? Um, the good news is she is a solid unit. All I've done differently, war soul wise, is I went ahead and put the third war soul on her, and and honestly, no healing war soul on her, nothing like that. I'm just using a block war soul with her with a damage reduction, and she has had no problem staying alive at five star, and at four star, I hadn't even put the blocking war soul on her, and she was still holding up really well. So I can only imagine she'll be just fine because let's be honest with healers unless you're going to go to six star there's really no reason to go any further just save your resources and money and just keep her at four stars if you're not going all the way to six there's just no reason to do it with that as you can see what I did was I took my my standard arena team that I've been using I took out Christmas Orihime and I put the new event Nell in there in place of her, okay? And the team's been doing fine. She holds the line. She stays alive better than Halloween Nemu most of the time, and my Halloween Nemu is built up. Um, so I got so she's definitely gonna keep your line for you. So that's not gonna be the problem. Um, is her healing abilities are nice, but they're not as amazing as Christmas or Hime's. But she does do a good job helping, assisting, keeping your characters alive. And with Halloween Nemu, they do work well together. Do they work as well as you get Christmas or Hime? Heck no, of course. Christmas or Hime and her snowman are just ridiculous, okay? Let's, so we can put that to bed, okay? I doubt we'll see another healer that good um, anytime soon. But what she does do well is she does get higher attacks. And what I have found is when I compare stats from Christmas Orihime after a match and the new event Nell, they're very similar across the board. The only difference I see most of the time, of course, is the attack of Nell is higher. Not much, you know. You might see Christmas Orihime at 1 or 2%. You'll see Nell at about 5 or 6%. Um, it's not game breaking, but she is a better attacker. There's no doubt about that. She she does better damage. Um, but with the other cases in reference to defense and healing, their stats hold up pretty well. It's it's interesting. Um, even though you don't feel like you're seeing that when you're seeing her in action, the event now. So my recommendation to everybody is, and it's pretty simple: get what you need. I've been saying this all along. I say this every time there's multiple characters. If you need a pure attacker, you can go with Grim. If you need a healer for your team or another one, go with Nell. Okay? And if you're going to go for both, definitely, you know, you don't have to break the bank with Nell. Keep her at four stars because she's the healer. And if you go with Grim, I definitely recommend trying to get him to five if you can. They both will thrive much better um, with their uh, awakened weapon, in particular Grim. Well, quite honestly, I think Mel really needs it too. But she's solid, man, and she does a good job. Um, 
So I'm pretty happy with her out of the gate, I gotta say. And you know, as you're watching here, she's taking hits from AY, she stayed alive. I mean, we're in round five right now. The only one that's died so far is Shinji. Um, on average, she lasts longer than Halloween Nemu. I'm not saying she doesn't die. I mean, this may be one of the matches she died. I think the last five matches I ran, she died once. Halloween Nemu died twice. Um, and I can't remember if anybody else died during that. But, you know, she, look at that. I mean, she's taking a beating and she's there, you know? The only real healer I've got going on right now um, is Unahana, and it's not all that much, you know? I use her actually just to, to get that additional rage in a little healing if necessary. But again, she, she's doing what she's meant to do, so that's good. So let me see if I can find those stats at the end of the match so you can just see the comparison. See, as you can see right there, take a look, okay, um, at the opponent's Christmas Orihime and the nail I've got running. Oh, this must have been one I was running today once I made her six stars. My apologies. Um, but either way, just look at the stats, okay? Um, they're pretty even. So I've been pretty happy about that. Um, that they really do seem to or I should say, she seems to work very well. So my thoughts at the end of the day is just go with what you need. You're not going to go wrong with either one of these, okay? I mean, my thoughts are this, and I've said it over and over again. Go with what you need. You're not going to go wrong with either one of them. Nell is definitely a good, solid healer. Um, and she's going to do your team right, okay? But if you need that attack, you gotta go with Grim, man. And if you're gonna go for both, shoot for four stars for Nell, five stars for Grim. Um, and even a four star Grim is, is solid. I just, he definitely holds up a little better at five star, and his damage definitely also starts to increase a lot more because you get that extra skill added to it. So it's just a really nice bonus if you can get him the five. If you can't, then that's your goal to do it in the end. But I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with both these units, um, and I think they did a pretty good job for them. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. I hope everybody has a safe and happy New Year's Eve and a great new year.